Okay, you FMS uh, P51 1450 millimeter lovers. Uh, just a little, quick little demonstration here. Way to go, MF or FMS, Frank. Uh, forget me the parts. Uh, there was a little bit of a an issue for me in order to to get everything working. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the setup of uh, the electronics. Um, the manual, uh, the FMS manual uh, that we're from, used to familiar uh, seeing uh, there were some changes from version 7 to version 8. Uh, when I got my P51, uh, I got the, the owner's manual. I didn't really get any electronics other than this little sort of tiny board. And uh, that was it. And when I went to open through the manual, it's saying, you know, please, you know, get such and such a part. And I'm saying, well, I don't have that part. Uh, so I, I talked to the guy down at, uh, I talked to the guy down at uh, Motion RC. Uh, in relation to this model, and I asked them. I gave them several, several part numbers, uh, which uh, we'll, we'll talk about. I asked them about the SU-138 and the SU-139, which are like aileron extensions and another extension, which actually you plug all of the BNC style uh, plugs coming off the wings and retracts and, and the fairing doors into. That I needed those parts, which I never got with my kit. Uh, in the meantime, I. I asked uh, uh, the guy online that I bought it from, and it was a whole rigmarole. I wasn't getting these pieces. To make a long story short, I ended up talking with uh, the president of uh, M FMS, and uh, to make a long story short, uh, he sent me out a complete new wing assembly with the electronics that I needed. Uh, however, they were not the electronics specified in the manual, so. I went online and bought all these electronic harnesses and things like that to find out you don't even need them with this kit at all. And uh, FMS should really put an update uh, into that. So I'm gonna gonna go over a couple of these little parts for you. But uh, just wanted to uh, put this out there to anybody that has one of these kits or thinking of getting them. When you get this, when you get this uh, 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 owner's manual and you try operating this thing. Uh, I don't know, for me, it was a, an absolute nightmare. Uh, finally got it going though, and uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you uh, what, what I did and uh, things you actually need and things you don't need versus what's in the manual. Uh, as far as the plane is concerned, uh, it's just an awesome flying, awesome flying scale airplane. It just flies like a dream, so. This baby is just awesome uh, looking from uh, head to tail. Uh, it's just awesome, so I'm looking forward to, to getting her out and remading it with uh, remaining it with the new wings. So I'm just gonna snap out of this picture and talk about some of this other stuff. Okay, so when you get the kit, uh, basically these are the, you know, you have the you have the wings and then you, you have a whole bunch of wires coming out, and and this is what you get. Uh, in the manual, uh, you have a completely completely different version. In the manual, uh, it shows something like this that's in some sort of a white box. You have this harness, you have this harness, and you have this harness, okay? Now if you look on these, on this particular harness, uh, if the camera is focusing on this, you have uh, a CH5B, CH5C, C, I believe, is for uh, your fairing doors, and B is for your retracts. Uh, then you have channel one, channel six, and then LEDs. Uh, I tried hooking this up according to uh, the best I could, uh, according to the manual, and it absolutely just does not work. It just nothing works, whatever. Uh, so these parts you do not need. It talks in the manual about the aileron extensions coming, you know, from the kit in the box already attached. Uh, sorry, there's one other. You, you get a, uh, a, a three extension uh, a Y harness, okay, as well, which is actually mounted in the plane. 
so those are, those are the, the parts that you actually get. Uh, in the manual, uh, it shows for your, your, your door sequencer, it's, it shows a, uh, some sort of a, uh, a wider rectangle thingamajiggy. It doesn't look anything like this, okay? And of course, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. The, the pictures in the manual are very, very hard to read, and FMS should, they really gotta, you know, they gotta pick it up in that department there. Uh, as far as this particular piece, uh, this is the main, this is the main thing uh, that you have to, to use to get, to get this plane going. Now you notice at the end of each one of these harnesses, it says uh, uh, channel six flap, channel one aileron, and channel five CH. And then it talks in the manual how you connect all the CH, you know, the, the channel five CH is in, into these into these little boxes here, these little harnesses, okay, which it, it doesn't actually work. So um, when you attach this, when you when you have this piece, okay, um, your uh, black is at the bottom here, okay, your your black red color is at the top, so it's easy enough to to remember. Just think of it that way. Okay, when you are when you're looking at your, your your manual to start doing your hookup in here, you start reading kind of things away. Uh, if you have the plug and play version, which is what this is, it, it starts talking about different things. Uh, plug in uh, part one connectors into part two connectors that come from bag K. Well, there is no bag K. It comes with this model, which uh, is supposed to to be uh, all this stuff that we uh, we talked about. Uh, so just bypass all that, forget all that. Now if you notice on this diagram here, you have this white box with three cables. Well, that's probably supposed to resemble this to, uh, to some degree. Uh, this, is the, this is the main thing, this is what we're going to do, okay? Um, all of your leads coming off of your wings uh, and inside the plane, like your elevator and your rudder, just go ahead and connect those up to your receiver. Uh, your speed controller, uh, it says plug into channel 3. Uh, that does not go into channel three of this the receiver. Uh, sorry, your speed controller goes into your uh, channel number one on your receiver. Simple as that. That solves that. Now, as far as far as the channel B, uh, which is for your retracts, and, and channel five C, uh, which is for fairing doors, they plug into this version of the sequencer. Now, the sequencer that you see on the flight demos and things like that, uh, you know, from FMS or they look completely different. It's more of a rectangle shape. That's what I ordered. This is what I got, uh, and whatever. <laughs> so they've changed some of the parts, or whatever the case. So as far as uh, your, your channel 5B, which is for your retracts, again I mentioned you had a three. There's three sir uh, uh, a three uh, aileron uh, harness uh, that comes that's attached uh, to your retract for your tail and for your two main retracts. Uh, that's simple. Uh, it just connect goes up to the, the to the three-way Y harness, and you're going to plug that in to the bottom of this sequencer door here. Uh, once you have your uh, sequencer door, or sorry, your uh, once you have your your main retracts plugged up into this, uh, it's a good idea just to to power it up. Make sure your speed controller is hooked up, uh, powered up, and make sure you've actually got the right the right side. Because if if you pick the wrong side. Uh, the retracts will open and then it'll wait so many seconds and then they'll close. <laughs> so you want to make sure you get the, the, right, the right one. And uh, so that's why you're going to plug your uh, channel 5B for retracts and then channel 5C. You need your own Y harness connector. It does not come with a Y harness connector. Uh, so Y harness up those two channels that say uh, channel 5C and plug that into here. And this goes into uh, your gear which is your channel five on this guy right here. So remember this is with the yellow on the, on the left side. So one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna go just like that. Okay, so both ailerons go one aileron here into the first set, and another aileron there into channel two on there. Uh, and then we've got, as far as your um, your flaps are concerned, uh, you can put your flaps on these uh, last two channels, or you can Y harness them down into channel six if you like. 
and then your, your flaps will work uh, accordingly uh, the way that's supposed to go. So hopefully that gives uh, a little bit more information. Uh, like I said, I struggled, I struggled a lot with it because uh, it just wasn't working out for me. Because it, it talks about diagrams and, and things, you know, that you need to know the best diagram um, that they actually give you is this diagram right here. And that sort of talks again about Y harnessing off and going into channel one. You don't have to use a Y harness, just go into number one and number two. Uh, your landing gear, um, that comes with a three-way harness, uh, which goes into your sequen uh, sequencer door, which is plugged into uh, uh, channel five on this little assembly here. Uh, your fairing doors also go into the sequencer. Uh, and then your flaps can just go into uh, this group, this last group, six and seven, or you can Y, y them off and just go into one, into number six. And your LEDs go on these back two connectors right there for your wingtips. So hopefully that makes some sort of sense uh, to you. Uh, I had a heck of a time with this and uh, I can hardly wait to sort of kind of get it going. And <laughs> that's a lot of stuff to, to try and figure out. Uh, I had a hard time with it. One thing I wanted to mention uh, on this main hub, uh, you've got these three lines that are coming off of this. These plug into your receiver. You have a channel one that plugs into the receiver, a channel six, and you have a channel five C, okay, which is actually your, your gear. Okay, the one that says channel five C uh, actually is your gear. Uh, on my new harness that I, that I got in the, in the packaging, there was actually two stickers on it, believe it or not. I could see one was wrapped over over the second one, and I I took the first one off, and it said uh, channel uh, or whatever it said, yeah, channel five uh, gear or something on it. So I don't know why they got channel five C on these ones. So just important to remember that because that uh, for something that's so simple, man, it was like I said, it was a complete nightmare, a complete nightmare for me. Yeah, so. Uh... Easy model to put together, uh, just need the uh, FMS needs to update this, uh, your manual with the actual right parts that you need and get rid of all this, all this stuff here because that, that will really mess you up because uh, there's extra wires and where, where do they go and uh, you, you have this extra channel 5C that, does, that plugs into nowhere and it's just a, it's a big pain in the arse. So that's all you need, those pieces there. And that gets you going for your FMS kit. 1450 P51D version 8 Mustang. You guys have a great day.